Here in the beautiful Penticton, British Columbia, where we have our headquarters, I was privileged to host the Dermavigils retreat and have some of my very favorite clients gathered. These individuals made the effort to attend from across the country and came to join me for some education, networking, celebrations with our awards dinner, and of course, some fun. We had Florence Barrett Hill explain to us about cornification disorders, so we had a big exploration into that topic and we discovered the Dermavigil's point of difference, as well as the journey that we take our clients on with the Dermavigil's product line. Dr. Johan van der Weyfer had joined us with a presentation on things that he as a dermatologist wishes estheticians knew and enlightened us with some really great research on pigmentation, barrier disorders and sun damage or risk of sun damage, which was perfect for the time of the year as we were heading just into summer. Amberly Erdman, who is responsible for a lot of our branding photography, came and taught us all about product photography with our cell phones and how to take images on the fly when in a pinch. We had Gabrielle Gillespie from Mar Media share about the importance of user-generated content and actually explaining what that is for social media platforms. And she gave us a workshop on using video, in particular, how to make reels for Instagram. The Dermavigils education team in Germany sent us a recording on a presentation about rosacea. Now next year, they already confirmed that the German educators will be here live and in person at our next retreat. We closed the wonderful event out with a wine tour because that's what you do when you live in wine country. I want to take this opportunity and invite you all to join us next year for our second retreat on the 2nd and the 3rd of June. Details will be announced, but make sure to block that off in your calendars for now so that you can have the opportunity to come and join us in the Okanagan Valley for a variety of education and entertainment.